A local Ronald Reagan biographer is sharing some of his experiences with Mrs. Reagan tonight. News Channel 3's Elise Martinez joins us live in Santa Barbara with that part of the story. Elise? Lou Cannon wrote five books about Ronald Reagan, and over the years he came to know Nancy Reagan very well. He says she was larger than life. Well, it came, uh, uh, it came surprisingly as a shock. Memories of former First Lady Nancy Reagan came flooding back to Lou Cannon after he learned of her death. Nancy Reagan was no shrinking violet. The Reagan biographer penned Mrs. Reagan's obituary for Sunday's New York Times. Nancy Reagan traveled a greater distance uh, in, in my mind than any political figure I know. Cannon watched the actress's transformation from the governor's mansion to the White House. She was first, uh, when she was the first lady of California, she tended to distrust reporters, including me. She was very uh, suspicious. She didn't know very much about politics. But I really didn't ask you here to, to solve the, uh, the budget problem. Eventually, Mrs. Reagan could hold her own. Uh, it really wasn't her world, and she had to learn from the ground up. And how, boy, she really did learn. She became uh, politically astute. She became uh, a very good political advisor. As First Lady, she rarely gave interviews, but she opened up to Cannon and helped him learn about what made her husband tick. And Cannon gets emotional talking about her in past tense. A terrific person to be around, and I, and I feel a great sense of loss. I, I, I really do, and I'm surprised at that. But I, she, you know, I think uh, the world was a more interesting place with Nancy Reagan in it. And Cannon attended Ronald Reagan's funeral, and he hopes to be there for Mrs. Reagan's as well. Live in Santa Barbara, Elise Martinez, News Channel 3.